Welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. Today we're going to continue our SEC football predictions. Up next, the Champions of Life, also known as the Tennessee Volunteers. German Shepherds in my back, yo. Train to kill, I was born to deal. I was on the hill, RIP till one to rest in peace, cool for deal. Yeah. Tennessee was actually a major disappointment last season. Most people were predicting them to win the SEC East and could potentially be a playoff sleeper, but in the end, they only finished 9-4 uh, with a win in the bowl game over Nebraska. Uh, it was a much, really disappointing season for the, all the returning starters they had, uh, although they did face a lot of injuries. I don't think uh, you can really blame that on the disappointing season. They still had Josh Dobbs and their running backs. Uh, but this year, they returned 14 starters all, all together, 7 on offense, 7 on defense. Uh, I feel like they're going to be middle of the pack SEC East again. Uh, Bush Jones has done a great job turning this program around from the Derek Dooley days. Uh, so let's just jump into it. Uh, they open up with Georgia Tech uh, on Labor Day in Atlanta. That's pretend that's pretty much a home game for Georgia Tech. Despite that, I'm going to give Tennessee the win there. I think they're going to be fired up. They're going to have something to prove. Uh, their new quarterback uh, is probably going to be Quentin Normandy. Uh, I think he's going to uh, he's probably going to be pretty good. I think. And I think they're going to get the win over Georgia Tech there, even though Georgia Tech does have a lot of the returning starters. Uh, Indiana State, easy win uh, at home. And then the third week of the season, it's at Florida. Last year, Tennessee ended the streak uh, against Florida at home at Neyland. This year, they go back to the Swamp. Florida's going to start a new streak. <laughs> they're going to lose uh, at the Swamp. Uh, I just don't, I don't feel confident about them going on the road and winning that game, uh, especially with all the returning starters Florida has. Um, Malik Zaire and a good defense, nine uh, returning offensive stars. I just don't feel good about that. Um, if it was at Tennessee, maybe a little differently, but not at Florida. Then a win against Massachusetts. That's obviously going to be an easy win. So Tennessee starts off the season 3-1, and one, and that's really not bad at all uh, for a team that had a lot of uncertainty. Uh, they lose. I, if you saw earlier in my Georgia video, they're gonna. I think they're going to lose to Georgia at home. Um, they had. They should have lost last year at Georgia, uh, except for the kick that went out of bounds and a miraculous hail mary. But this year they're going to lose at home. Much needed bye week at three and two. Uh, still kind of teetering in the middle of the SEC. They're out of the SEC East race though, with already two conference losses and those uh, the top two dogs in the East there, Florida and Georgia, losing to both of those. They are, there's no way they can win the division now. South Carolina at home. Uh, they do win that game. I know I've said South Carolina is improving, and they are, but uh, they got to go on the road to win that. I don't think it's going to happen. And then Tennessee draws the two toughest teams out of the West this year. They always draw Bama because it's a cross-division rival, kind of like a permanent. And then this year they draw LSU too. Uh, that that's, doesn't bode well for them. Uh, I'm just going to skip ahead. That's going to be a loss, even though it's at home. It's going to be a very fun game that I'm looking forward to. The LSU Tennessee game that doesn't happen very often, but. Um, I think LSU is just too talented. Darius Guys is a beast. And uh, even though it's at home, I don't think they're going to be able to pull off the upset over LSU. And then at Alabama, they're definitely not going to win uh, in Tuscaloosa. So another loss there. Uh, at Kentucky, uh, I think they will pull off the win there. I've been saying some good things about Kentucky. And if Kentucky can pull off a few upsets, maybe against Tennessee, I see, uh, I, you saw my Florida video, I haven't beaten Florida, they could potentially be an SEC East sleeper. But Tennessee, I think, goes on the road against Kentucky and wins that because um, they're going to be desperate for a bowl game at this point. That would be their fifth win. Uh, so there's one away. They'll get the bowl eligibility against Southern Miss at home. Um, Southern Miss had a really good offense a couple years ago, but once they lost their quarterback, um, they're, they're, and they're still good. They're still a threat in the conference USA. Don't get me wrong, but they're not going to threaten Tennessee any. Uh, at Missouri. Missouri returns 10 offensive stars, including, uh, including their uh, quarterback and Drew Locke. Drew Locke uh, really showed improvement towards the end of last season. Ten returning stars. Barry Odom was the defensive coordinator, so defense should be okay if they can improve just a little bit on that side of the ball. We know the offense is going to be good. I'm predicting a loss for Tennessee at Missouri. Um, that's just going to be tough. Missouri hung with Tennessee towards the end of last season until they pulled away at the end. Uh, they were really in, in there with them until midway through the third quarter. So I think now it's going to be at Missouri. They're going to be fired up. Loss for Tennessee. And Vanderbilt at home last year. 
Um, in that in-state rivalry, Tennessee lost to Vanderbilt uh, in the season closer, um, and Vanderbilt got that win to go to bowl eligibility. This year they get Vanderbilt back at home, and I'm giving Tennessee a win there, uh, kind of like a little bit of revenge. So when I was doing these predictions, I was kind of back and forth on what their record was going to be, a couple toss-up games here and there. Uh, you know, the biggest toss-up game for me uh, was the Missouri game. So, you know, if they were to win that, they could be 8-4. and four. But right now, I'm going to keep them where I have them at 7-5. and five. It's a little bit of a step back, which could be expected because uh, they're not going to be as good as they were last year. 7-5 um, and five, still good enough to get them to a decent bowl, maybe the Music City Bowl again. And um, Tennessee will probably finish 3rd uh, or 4th in the SEC East. So please continue to like and subscribe and leave your own comments, share your own predictions, and we will see you next time on The Gridiron Expert.